Welcome to season two, January. As we hit the January transfer window here in season two, this is episode number three. If you're watching, go check the two episodes I've done beforehand. We're doing pretty well in the league. We're in second place. We're one point off Chelsea, who are ahead of us, but we can definitely ride a Quebec pretty quickly. We'll definitely have a chance to beat Chelsea this season and hopefully get ahead of them that way. Unfortunately, we are already out of the Champions League, and I hate to say it, but we were an absolute disaster. Let's see, we're playing actually in the. Do we have our. We were playing Gudemares. No idea where they're from. We should send the second team out there and get a result. It'd be nice to win the Europa League again, the Champions League that way, but it'd be also nice to win the Premier League at the same time. Definitely be good to do this. Here is the team set up at the moment. Uh, this is the second team. This is the first. Not a lot of holes in the team. You would expect that team to do well in the Champions League, but for unfortunately, they haven't. The goalkeeper situation. I don't know what to do. You see, we've got Lafont in the second team. I am tempted to start Lafont the second half of the season now that we don't really have much to play for. But I'm going to get that check finished the season now. He's earned that right in my eyes as a legend of the Premier League. So, there are areas of weakness I see at the moment. You have better and injured. So, a right back. Chambers is not a right back. So, that's potentially why I've gone looking at right backs. A lot of the right like backs I'm looking for. Not in contract at the moment. I have a potential pre two pre contract signings. So I'm potentially I'm going to do one because I feel it's a bit cheating. Actually, I was looking at it the second time. Where we go with that is an interesting idea. There's a few players available. We have some good funding available. So, with 70 million and 500 wages, we could potentially make that work. We'll have to go see in the future. But anyway, let's crack into the season and hopefully we have a good result. I'd love to win the Premier League. It would be an absolutely brilliant finish to the year and also a Europa League. Get the two trophies. That'd be a perfect season. A huge pre-contract signing here. Anthony Martial had six months after his contract. I know he went renewing. I gave them a chance, but they didn't renew it. And we pick up the left mid striker, Anthony Martial, for 1750000 a week. We gave him a 2.5 signing bonus, a 85 minute release clause. It doesn't get much better than this. This is a future buy. I mean, well, not really a buy, kind of a future agreement in the fact that we're looking to if Sanchez and Uzel continue to decline this year or they decline the next year and a half, Martial's already step up, Pulis has already step up, and that's his two positions catered for. Huge signing. Hopefully Martial can bring us next season the goods. At the end of the January transfer window here in season two, we have not bought anyone and not sold anyone. We've lost players to pre-contract and we've signed a pre-contract. We brought Anthony Martial, he's going to be coming in. We lost Dabucci Monreal to pre-contract next year. Dabucci, I have absolutely not a care in the world about, but Montreal Monreal, I offered him good money. I mean, I offered him 70, 90, but he wanted over 100,000. So yeah, I had to let him go, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to look to replace them in the off season. Transfer wise, there wasn't really any deals off offered available where they could pull off this um in this window. A lot of players out in loan that I wanted, a lot of players unavailable, and just fortunately just couldn't work them out. So We'll restock in the summer, we'll get wait till then, and we'll pick up some big names then. There's big signings here. Liverpool picked up Mateo Kovacic. Kovacic? Yeah, Mateo Kovacic away from Real Madrid for 60 million nearly. Big deal, big money, but that's a hell of a sign with them. They also signed Anderson Taliska. I was trying to get him as well. Away from Benfica, he's pretty good as well. So that's a pretty good haul for them next season. They're going to be difficult to beat. Suso, the right winger from Spain, who plays AC Milan, going 57.8. Chelsea, that's another good sign with Chelsea. Never go when you're two big rivals sign big name players. And then Julian Brandt goes to Juventus for 50.9 million. Good signings there, making it competitive. Big game here against Liverpool. Away to Liverpool at Anfield here. I've got a different team here. I've started to start. Lafont deserves a start. So does Jack Wilshere. Unfortunately, Alexi Sanchez is out of this game. He's on the bench, but I'm not sure how bad he is. He potentially could be. I don't want to get him injured. This season is pretty important, so I need to keep him healthy. So I'd leave him on the bench for this game. He has got a sprained foot, so we'll see. Get on. Pulis is usual, though. I think they're good enough to start. And let's see if we get into this game and see how we get on. So let's see what Liverpool have. I don't think you can see Liverpool's team. I can't remember what it is. Some Austin's recording. Darius Martinez. What is Javi Martinez? Umtiti. That's good. Just Rose El Nani. Oh, yeah. We sell Nani. And Alexander gets sent off. Brilliant Alexander. That's not exactly what we needed. Roberto Firmino. So they still have Coutinho and Mane. Even they have Salah on the bench. Yeah, they do. So they have quite a. What a strong team. Jack Wilshere, thank you for the goal. 50 minutes gone, 30 minutes to play. We're 1-1 one, one here. I'll take the 1-1 one, one, simply for the fact of the red card. Just hold out, boys. Just hold out. Just hold out. Hold out. Hold out. It is 
And I benched it, the big signing, Kalvatic. I said, be careful of him. And he's gone and scored the winning goal for them. 2-1 Liverpool, fair play. Mateo Kalvatic with the game winner at 85 minutes. At the start of March here is the Premier League table. We fall off a bit of Chelsea a little bit. I was hoping to keep the gap a little smaller, but I've got that game in hand and three points over us. Man City have climbed over us, so it's, we are in a bit of trouble here. We're not on track, as they would say, on the board. We desperately need some big-time performance coming up the rest. Now it's the 13 games to go. We desperately qualify the Champions League. We desperately need to win the Europa League. It was a bit of breathing room. Match United down there, 36 and 8. You know, a bit of gap between points, but... You know, look at Spurs, look at Leicester City there, they're, they're swarming around and Liverpool aren't too far off as well, so we need to get results and we need to get them quickly. Europa League round of 16 action here. We're going to play Hertha Berlin, I think is how you pronounce it, I'm not really sure. But the round of 32, I accidentally went to record it, but I was actually on a call and I just basically was through it completely unthinking. So apologies for that, we did get through, I think it was 4-1 in aggregate, it was 1-1 in the first leg, the way leg, and we won 3-0 at home. Apologies for that, but anyway, here it is against Hart of Berlin. I uh, sit the second team out here. We have a big game in the FA Cup quarterfinals against Manchester City, or Manchester United, pardon me, come up in two days' time. So I decided, hey, let's put out the uh, seconds and see if we can get a result, or a steal result, I should say, as Stindl scores the first goal for them. And probably not something we want to be getting on too much. Two yellow cards, the only thing we managed to put on the scoreboard half time. We do need a performance here in the second half, guys. So something would be nice. I mean, a goal, a way goal, maybe? These 15 to go, 10 to go. We haven't been able to score anything here. Can we steal it last minute? Nope, unfortunately not. 1 0 to Berlin. They have pretty much stolen a good win here. This is a check. Potentially, I'd have taken this out. Today's big game quarter final FA Cup. Doesn't get bigger than this. Against Manchester United at Old Trafford, the theatre of dreams. But the first team out, and after the Disappointing loss to her to Berlin. I'm expecting a big performance from the team today. We need to kick off the backside as we take on Manchester United. Manchester United always bought Castimero. It was Mick Atari that opens the scoring. Hope he stays at Man United this season. Don't want Alexis Sanchez. No thank you. Anything else? Plug we're on now. For really, this is going to get worse. Czech is injured as the font. As Martial, our future scorer, scores. And that pretty much wraps up at 2-0. Fortunately, and Martial the third. Well, there's the reason why we bought him. He is a goat. As usually gets one back with the last minute. Check injured, though, is the big story from this game as we lose 3-1 in the quarterfinals to Manchester United. The reverse fixture of the Europa League round 16 clash here. We're home to Hertha, Hertha Berlin, pardon me, as we get started here. Alban Lafont, unfortunately, is going to have to come in and replace Peter Check for the rest of the season. Check has tore his groin. It'll be out two months so that is a big, big connotation there. Czech has a lot of experience. Would have been nice to have him, unfortunately. And they score. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Uzla gets this one back. Well, they do have the away goal, though. So we do need to win 3-1 here. 60 minutes approaching here. Lacazette gets us one. We need one more. We need one more. 20 to go. One more goal. 15, 10, 5. We need a goal. No, we're out again. Well, I'm not sure what's wrong with this team. I really don't. I think I'm going to have to blow it up and start again, but they're not performing. We go out in the Europa League. They go through on away goals 2-2. Home for Chelsea in the Premier League here. Does it get bigger than this? This is a must-win clash for us. We have to take their scalp in this game. It just feels like if we're in the Premier League, we have to win this game. And this is where it really gets big. So let's start it off. Lafont again in goal. Check out injured. I love Czech playing Chelsea. I think it would give us a massive boost. But unfortunately, cannot avail of that. Saj gets a yellow card to start the game. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Chelsea born in the boat Suso, of course. He might come back to bite us like Kovacic did for Liverpool. But pretty quiet 45 minutes here. Halftime is gone. Pedro on or for Willian. Okay, substitutions. Willian scores for Chelsea in the 65th minute. Mustafi red carded. Oh boy. Can we steal the point here? No, we cannot. We lose 1 0 to Chelsea. Mustafi picking up the red card. That is just not acceptable. The North London Derby version 2 here at home to Spurs. Must win situation here. The Spurs are two points away from us. So be disappointed if we don't win this game. And the fans will be absolutely furious. I can already hear Robbie and DT 
how angry they would be if we lose this game. So we got to win this game, 20 minutes gone, and we pick up the goal. It's Saul after the 22nd minute. That is a huge goal to score. Now we just need the defense to hold up and do their job, which they've not done this season. Half time, we're still up 1 0. As substitution comes on, Harrison for Lorente, Sterling for Crea, Postage for Sanchez, then Bele for Lacazette. 70 minutes, 20 minutes to go. Pulisic gets the goal. 72 minutes, and we surely are going to win this game now. As we do. Christian picks injury in the last minute, but that should not matter too much. 2 0 win for Arsenal against Spurs. The dreaded rival. Big, big win right there. Away to Old Trafford here in the Premier League. Unfortunately, we're without Andreas Christensen today. He has a set of broken ribs. So, unfortunately, that means he is out for a while. We're going to have to do that him. Hopefully, our defense can step it up. As Lacazette towards the 10th minute, that's a brilliant start to the game. Now, can the team hold out the next and now? Unless Jesse Lingard finds the back of the net, and that is a disaster right before halftime. But anyway, see if the team can improve here as we go through. Klasnich on for De Vrij. I take 1-1, one, one, but can we steal the victory? Mkhitaryan, oh my god. Down 2-1, can we get a point? Can we steal the point? Oh, unfortunately not. Man United take our scalp, 2-1 this one. That probably is our chance of the league, gone. Here we are at the end of the Premier League season with one game to go. We're playing against champions Manchester City away. But as you can see, if we win and Chelsea and Spurs draw... We potentially steal second place from our London rivals. Now let's see if we can steal that second place. It would be delightful in second place without how much of a disaster this season has been. So let's crack into this game. I believe we're without Mustafi today. Christensen and Czech are back. So some good news there. And let's see how we can get on this game. So it'd be nice to pick up a nice win here to finish the season. Just beat Man City, but Fernandinho scores right off the bat for them and then picks the yellow card three minutes later. Do I trust this team to score a goal at the moment? I'm not really sure. We've really struggled to get goals when we've been down 1-0 all season. Sterling picks it up, and that is surely the game set match here for them. As they bring on the subs, is there any hope back for us? I don't think so. Fikir scores for them, and Sanchez gets one back. But unfortunately, the champions reign supreme here. Three goals to one as they win the league. Congratulations to Manchester City on an incredible season. Here is the Premier League table to finish off the season. It's been a, it's been a bitterly disappointing season. I can't even emphasize how disappointing it has been. I really don't know what we went wrong. I was looking at the team at the start of the season. I thought this is the team that could win the Champions League. I thought I could win the Premier League. I thought we could do the double. And unfortunately, we've just fallen on our face short of the line. So here is the table again. Yeah, Manchester City winning the team with 83 points. 8 points clear and 12 points clear of us. That's a definite thing we have to improve on next season. Chelsea finishes second at 75. Spurs at 72. It is bittersweet to see Spurs win that league. I mean, it's not pretty. We do finish ahead of Manchester United by 7 points. They do finish up in 5th. They had a bad start of the season. So, it's good year to them. Looking forward to picking Marshall for the next season as Everton finish in 6th place, respectively. Again, relegation-wise... Middlesbrough, Aston Villa, Derby County, up you go, down you go. Kind of like a yo-yo effect that's going to get in FIFA. So we just got the performance review meeting scheduled here in the start of June. Board wishes to inform you that your position in the club is currently under scrutiny. The confidence the board has, the helm of the club is currently waning. And I absolutely have to agree with them. Uh, I didn't get the performance this season and that is unfortunately down to me. Now let's have a look at where it is the yeah let's have a look at the objectives for the year so obviously here was our objectives overview earned 335 million um got that thankfully premier league win the title we finished fourth when the fa cup we got to the quarterfinals youth development completely ignore that we don't see that we did get the brand exposure that's the good thing we got both of them done the shirt sales and the media earnings that's a pretty I think that would should get us the uh, get us through financial wise. No objectives. Thank you very much. Domestic. This is a disaster. I mean, win the Premier League, win the right fake up, fail both of them. So that is a bit of a knock against us. And of course, reach the Champions League final, and we collapse the group stage. So that one, oh boy, that could that could really bite us back. I don't think we're gonna make it. To be honest, I think we are dead in the water. We are absolutely dead and buried. The FA Cup in the end was all Manchester United. We lost to them in the quarterfinals. We lost 3-1. They beat Chelsea then 2-0 in the semis. 
and proceeded to beat Spurs 1-0 in the final. The Carabao Cup was won by Spurs. They beat Liverpool 2-1. Liverpool beat Th Man City 3-1 in the semis. Interesting run there by Blackburn getting to the quarterfinal. Same with, I think it's Reading and Millwall. Spurs losing at, or pardon me, Spurs winning 1-0 against West Ham. I did the wrong numbers there. And they went on to win the Carabao Cup 2-1 in the final. Champions League was won by Manchester United. They beat Bayern Munich 1-0. Bayern Munich in the semi-finals beat Barcelona on away goals 3-3. They obviously smashed their rivals Dortmund in the quarterfinals 5-0. Man United rode there, beat Leverkusen 6-1. And they beat Real Madrid in the semi-finals 4-2. That's quite the result. Fair play Man United winning the result. They did finish fifth in the Premier League table, but they finish off the season with the Champions League. So fair play to them. In the Europa League, Manchester City win 1-0 over Spurs. An all-English affair in the final. Spurs got there beating Napoli 3-2 in game. And Manchester City got there beating Bayern München Gladbach 6-1. Manchester City knocked out Chelsea 4-1 in the quarters. We were locked apart of Berlin. who ended up losing to Bayern München Gladbach. A very English-heavy competition there. You know, Spurs, Man City, Chelsea and Arsenal. So... Not the best year of the English clubs, and unfortunately, we are knocked out there in the round of 16 against Hertha Berlin. They won on away goals 2 2. So, here's a look at the squad at the end of the year. I'll show the appearances here. Um, Peter Cech and Lafont are two main goalkeepers. I think they're two good players. Cech, unfortunately, I think the end of the line we've reached. I thought Lafont would be much better. I did not think he'd go up just plus two. I thought he'd go up four or five, but I think I massively underestimated that. Pretty poor job there. Hector Bellerin, our number one right back. He played a lot of games this year. A lot of, a lot of toe in that body. 47 appearances. Fair play playing that many games. But yeah, we just need to get a back up next season for him. Just give him a bit of a rest during the season. Center backs wise, Murdersacker just nine games. He's collapsing as a rate of noughts here. Monreal, another player collapsing. Pretty big. Chambers and Holding have two bright futures. I did expect them to grow a little quicker. I was hoping that would happen. Shelney, he's dropped to two this year. Unfortunately, I think he is pretty much dead and buried. De Vrij are signing this season, 86, doing solid enough, 44 appearances. Mustafi, 43 appearances with 85 rating, nice to do. Two red cards in the Premier League this year, that is just not acceptable. My eyes, he's got to clean it up. Andres Christian, 85, he's about 40. Alexander, 89 overall left back. What a sign this kid has been, magnificent player. 43 appearances, 6 goals, 4 assists, happy with that. Klasnich, 27 appearances, he's been solid, a great backup, a left back. He I have to move up to left bit as well. We'll have to see what to do with that. Jeffrey and Alderwald, well, unfortunately, you were away on loan. Maitland Niles has three appearances. Reese Nelson, who I think is the brightest prospect we have. Just the three appearances, but he did have the goal, so I'm going to give him the credit for that in the Premier League. Thank you very much for that, Reese Nelson. Wilshere, just 16 appearances, but he scored seven goals. Wow, I need to get in more games with that. Wow, Wilshere is pretty, pretty damn good. I need to get him involved more next season. Ramsey just 13 appearances. Probably will look to sell him this offseason. I think his time is done. ZIM is 5. So 49 appearances. That's a lot of games. I'm going to keep him healthy next season. 88 overall. He is bombing up there. Nice to see that. Shaka with a 85. 40 appearances. Wobi just 14 starts this season with 6 goals, 4 assists. Happy with that. Pretty good performance. Pretty good output for a limited amount of games. Uzo with 45 games, 10 goals, 8 assists. Very nice. Barkley, just 16 games a season. Haven't given very much games, but he's happy enough. Seems doesn't seem too angry. We'll try to get more next season. Pulisic, 32 games. He's an 8 to an 85. Absolute dominant player. What an absolute brilliant player this guy's going to be in the future. 10 goals this year with that. Moussa Dembele. Happy with the signing of him. I actually has gone up a lot. I was expecting him to go a bit more maybe, but 81 Happy with that, exactly where you kind of want him, kind of that back up position behind Lacazette. Lacazette played 40 other games, 87 overall now, 17 goals, 6 assists. Had a pretty good season from Lacazette. Played in 33 or 38 games. Again, it's not his fault that the service point isn't bad, but I definitely would like to see him get 20, 25 goals next season. Akprom, unfortunately, did not get two, only two starts now at the start of the year. He is on loan. Alexi Sanchez, 43 game 16 goals and 7 assists he fortunately started to go down to 87 now down 1 for the year but pretty solid year from Lexi Sanchez 16 goals and 7 assists I'll take it
So here we are at the end of the season. End of season review. Very humbling experience this year. Deeply, deeply depressing as well at the same time. You know, I I'd set the team up in the way I thought could survive, even with Czech and having a young goalkeeper. But obviously, I just did it wrong. And unfortunately, we have got to fix that problem next season. It is of utmost importance to finish it off. We just need to... F I think I'm going to have to look at a goalkeeper, to be honest. I think that's the next big step. A goalkeeper, a centre-back, and potentially a right back as well she definitely need a right back to back up because we're going to lose to Bucci so unfortunately we need to find some replacements for those teams if I do get fired I'll be absolutely devastated because I really think this team next season can blow hatches off here and get the result we needed but you know if we do get fired we deserve to get fired if we don't thank you very much Arsenal for giving us another chance especially Kroenke I mean that'd be delightful but let's just see if we can survive the season we survived Oh my god, I read that basically with my heart in my mouth for the entire two paragraphs. It says, it comes out of surprise that you are entirely satisfied with the results this season. I agree. We have failed to achieve a number of objectives and thus fallen short of what we expect you to accomplish both on and off the pitch. Couldn't agree more. We are hope we're hoping for a stronger commitment and better results from you. That said, we believe you deserve another chance and I would like for you to stay at Arsenal next season. That's it. That's the news we wanted. Staying at Arsenal for the year the good news, I think next season we can make it our year. There's a change we're going to make. I think we might have to sign a superstar goalkeeper. Just go out there and make the big signing. But, you know, we'll have to just see where we're, where we're going now. Looking towards the future, hopefully next season will be our year. I can't wait to get into the next time next season. I'm looking forward to next season now. I'm um, already thinking of positions we need to fix, what to buy, who to get, who to sell, who to buy. I, I love that part of the season, just, you know, buying players. And that's what really drives me to do this series. And, Keep going with it. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave the video here. Thank you so much for watching. We survived the year. That's all that matters at the end of the day. What an absolute disaster of a season. The worst possible season. I would have rather got relegated and just basically walk to the end of the season than what we did this season again. But hopefully troops, you know, DT, Robbie Forrest on TV didn't kill me too much this year. But don't worry, guys. I'm going to make your season next season. This is the year Arsenal in the, the Champions League. They win the Premier League. And hopefully we can have a good cup run. But anyway, guys. Cheers for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much again for watching, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out. Have a good one.